Hey there, Chad Boninger here for High University Libraries coming to you with a quick business research video. I've got several students who are currently looking for uh, statistics on the outdoor recreation industry on the global level. It's pretty easy to find U.S. statistics, but we're going to look for global statistics in a database called Passport. And because there's not really statistics on people who do hiking, canoeing, hang gliding, rock climbing in other countries, what we're going to be looking at is retail sales and consumer expenditures on uh, outdoor equipment across uh, global markets. So here you go. So we're going to use a database called Passport. And because we can't find the actual statistics of people who do hiking or go camping or do rock climbing or do canoeing in global countries, what we're going to do is use consumer expenditure data as a proxy, kind of a, a way to kind of say, well, this is good enough for making our guesstimates of how the global market is. OK, so what we're going to do is going to go up to consumers and we're going to look at income and expenditure. So we're going to look at consumer expenditures on uh, leisure and recreation products. So once we get to this income expenditure homepage here, we're just going to go down and look at statistics and we're going to select a category here and I want consumer expenditure by category and then once it's we've made a selection we just click go this will bring up a categories and topics page here and everything in here that's got these little nested uh, icons here you can actually go deeper into the section there so I'm going to go deeper here and here we have consumer expenditure on footwear household goods and services etc things like that there is one for leisure and recreation, and since the outdoor industry, you know, requires you to do leisure or take vacation or uh, go outside and have fun, it's going to fall underneath this area here. So we're going to continue to kind of drop down here. And here we see there is consumer expenditure on other major durables for recreation and culture. So that sounds good. If I click on it, it will go up here in our top category. And I'm just going to uncheck that one because this is the only one I want right now. Now, if we click on the little icon here, it'll tell us what this entails. So this is the major durables for outdoor recreation it includes camper vans, aeroplanes, sails, rigging, uh, canoes, kayaks, windsurfing, golf carts, boats, camper vans, caravans, etc., etc. Now, however, this also includes musical instruments and other major durables for indoor recreation. Okay, so you got to bear that in mind. So this is going to include some indoor recreation stuff. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a way to parse that out. There's no way to separate the two inside a passport. So this is about as good as we have for that kind of information. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it, it'll tell you what it excludes. You don't have your horses or, or, or things like that, uh, swimming pools, that kind of stuff. You could also, if you're looking for other information, there is uh, stuff on recreational and cultural services as well. If you want to click that one, you could uh, give you a little information here. This gives you stuff on expenditures at, you know, skating rinks and stuff like that. Or we have, um, you know, uh, accessories and things like that for, uh, you know, mountain guides, tour guides, services for bowling, ski boots, ice skates, et cetera, et cetera. So you could use that as well as a proxy. OK, we're just going to use that for right now. I'm going to click on next. This takes us to the geography tabs here. We can select all. If we want to look at the world, we can click on world. Or we can go in and say, let's look at Western Europe. Uh, you can go in and select individual countries if you want. You can select all here. Or if you want, you can go back and then just click this guy here. And that will get everybody under the Western Europe area. Once you're satisfied with that, you click search. And this will give us uh, all the different uh, areas where we can look at these different um, consumer expenditures and that sort of thing. OK. So you can do that. You could also go back up and just do a search up here. Now that we know what this is called, we could say consumer expenditure on other. There it is. Major durables for recreation culture in all countries. If we click on that. That's another way to get this kind of data set. And that gives us basically every single country in the world, you know, um, for for those consumer expenditures. OK, so uh, you'll notice that uh, we want to maybe convert this. Right. So we're, right now we're looking at different prices. Uh, we can change this to you want to change this to currency. And let's just do U.S. dollars fixed exchange rates. And that will give us 
the expenditures on U.S. dollars. So we're comparing similar uh, currency across the board on those countries. So that's one way to find the information. I'm back at the Passport homepage now, and there's a way that you can find this information in a more visual context, and that's using the Search Dashboards feature. Okay, And as before, we're looking at consumer information, and we can select this, and there's our income and expenditure again, and we click Go. You'll notice this isn't working. We actually need to either have Flash uh, downloaded on our, on our uh, computer, or we have to enable or allow it. So I'm going to allow Flash to work. I'm going to continue there. And after a few seconds, this global consumer expenditure broad category loads uh, for, it uh, gives you a global map here. Now what I would encourage you to do is change the category up here. And so here's our consumer expenditure by category. And here is consumer expenditure on leisure and recreation. And here's our other recreational items or our other major household durables. Let's use that one. Other major durables for recreation and culture. Click go. And that gives us comparison globally. You know, we can save this as a chart. We can, you know, export this to PowerPoint if we want to use it in our PowerPoint. You can also go in and say, oh, wow, Australia is really happening down there. If you click on Australia, it'll change the country down here. And then you can go down and explore in detail and get additional information about uh, Australia, um, you know, for, for information like that. And all these, you know, so you can find information about your you know, specific countries uh, that way. So a couple different ways to find consumer expenditure on uh, recreation, uh, you know, uh, supplies and materials and equipment and that sort of thing as a way to hopefully address how uh, big the outdoor uh, recreation market is in other countries across the globe. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of, of how you can do that and find the information.